Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. I think this is probably going to be my last video for a time. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be off for, but it might be a month or so. Anyway, what I'd like to do today is backpack. Now, before I start doing that, let's have a look at what I have been doing between episodes. And that was to build another excavator. And this time I've connected it to the alternator that we've got from the immersive tech build that we did last time. As you can see behind me, Maybe not. Let's kind of look at that first of all. Right, here we are. And this particular chunk, we're actually um, mining up some silt stuff. So we're getting some gravel, sand, and some clay. I want clay. Uh, I watch it go on to quite a lot. So we turn this on again, it should start to work. So this is being powered now by the steam turbine and the alternator here. As you can see, it works pretty nicely. And this requires, what, 4,096 4, RF per tick. So it's generating enough from this at the moment anyway. I think it will keep up, but that's probably because of the water. So what I've done here is I've connected it through here like this. And one trick I've found is if you put in your offhand cables, you can simply do two things at once. So you can right click the cable here. Just make sure I've actually got my Faraday uni clothes on, which I have. So you can right click this there and it's going to, you can't join it because it's already a connector, but you can join it up here, for example. See, then it's linking from here. And then you can go and do other things with your other hand and try and link it in. So I could, for example, try to link it there, which won't work because it's the wrong type of cable. And if we try to link it in here, it'll tell me it's already been done. So that's fine. Already exists. So that's how this is working. And it actually keeps up pretty good. And no pollution. How about that? Even better. So now we've got 32 clay. I need the clay. I want to make some bricks. So now, backpacks. Let's have a look at those first of all. I've got lots of backpacks in here, but actually there are eight different types of backpacks in forestry. I'm only looking at the forestry backpacks today, I think. Um, so we've got the standard ones. So we've got a builder's backpack, a woven back, digger's backpack, a mining backpack, a hunting backpack, and a foresting backpack. And the special two, there are a couple of special ones. So we've got an adventuring backpack here, uh, an apist and a leopardist backpack are the last one of those, I think. Um, Apris Leopard, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> this one, this backpack, and that one basically carries butterflies, and this one carries um, bees. But you can program the others, or well, this one anyway. The adventuring backpack by default holds nothing. So I thought it's a good idea if I actually put stuff into this. So, for example, here I've got um, a compass, because a compass will show you your way back to your portals. So it's a good one for adventuring and also a prospectus pick. That's a pretty good one for adventuring too. And here I've got some jack-of-lanterns. Um, and it's quite smart the way this works. So there are some other things I can put in, like some ladders. I've got some ladders I can put in, some stone bricks if I need to do some building and stuff like that. And one I can put in are these jack-of-lanterns. And I'll show you this because this is quite neat. Let's throw, throw those on the floor. Let's throw half of those on the floor. And when you pick them up again, they'll go to the same stack here. So it'll keep going into this stack until this stack gets full, and then it'll go into the backpack. So let's put them all down. So it should then go straight into the adventuring backpack, like that. So we can have a look at this. So we've now got 42 jack-o'-lanterns in here. So if you've got one of any particular type in your hand, it will go into your hand. Now, you can, if you look at these carefully now, you've got different types. So this one here's got a dig, it's a woven one. So that's got a gold, button I suppose and that gives you 45 slots the standard one gives you 15 slots except for the apris and the leopardus they give you 125 but with the woven ones you get more and some of the stuff that you can do with these I'll show you how to do that first of all let's have a look at this now so what you see now is uh, the adventuring backpack this is in the backpacks um, configuration file in the forestry folder in the config folder what you can see here is you've got different things. So for example, it says here you've got stack items accepted. And then below that you have a load of items in here. And so I thought, well, so let's add another one of those items to this. So what I'm going to show you now is the next one I thought we'll do. We'll stick this one in here, which is the uh, adventuring backpack with the Minecraft boat. Now I thought maybe you can do it like this with, with the A to Z and different letters actually. Probably lowercase would have been better. Um, boat, but it didn't work, so maybe I'll 
didn't do the regular expression correctly. So what I ended up doing was, to, for example, to split them into two. So you've got spruce boat and boat. And there are a lot of different types of boats in Minecraft. Let's have a quick look at those. So as you can see, you've got different types of boats. So you've got a standard oak boat here, which is the default one from all the old versions. And then you've got spruce boats and birch boats, etc. And the next lot down have then become a biomes of plenty boats. So you've got biomes of plenty boats. And then you have, of course, the immersive petroleum boat, speed boat. What else do we have here? We should also have the um, Moore's Boats Boats. We've got more Boats Modular Boat. And lastly, we have the Willow Boats from Project Vib Vibrant Journeys. So you've got all of these different types of boats. So I'm not putting any in except for the first two here like that. So let's have a look back at this, what we can configure on this one. Right. One of the things you can do, here we've got these um, gardens from Pam's Harvest Craft. Now, if you often when you when you're doing things in the in the forest, you just happen to accidentally break one of these like that, and then it picks up all these items. Your inventory gets full of this stuff. Same as this one. I like that. I was going, okay, that's a nuisance. But if we've got a forestry backpack here, and in fact they're going into the forestry backpack. Let's have a look at that. So everything I've just broken has now come into here, and the reason it's come into here is because it's got a um, or dictionary value of crop something or other. So let's have a look at um, those crops and things in the, in the configuration file. Now this is the um, what you see in um, the forestry backpack. And if you look under there, you've got or dictionary, or or dictionary accepted. And then it says crop A to Z dot star. And that allows you to um, pick up anything with a crop in it. And it also allows you to do seeds and log wood. So these are all dictionary things, so it picks up a lot of stuff even. And I think I've added wood stick and vines to this. So it'll pick up things like that. There are a few I've added and a few I haven't added. Um, because I thought, well, you know, I don't want to do too, much, too many changes. So the next thing to look at is actually upgrading these bags. We can upgrade them fairly easily. And the one that I would like to upgrade next would be the hunting backpack. Because when you're hunting, it picks up all sorts of stuff. So let's have a look at what have I got anything in this at the moment. Yes, I've got some leather and some arrows, some cooked fish. It'll pick up things like rotting flesh and whatever else. Let's go and upgrade this. What we need, of course, is a diamond. <laughs> we always need a diamond. Let's have a look what issue. Let's have a look at what the uses of this one would be. So we need a diamond, the bag itself, and some silk fabric. Now it's important when you upgrade these things is to not is to make sure the bags are actually empty, otherwise they will get lost. You'll lose the stuff. So we've got some a diamond. I've probably got lots of silk fabric around, and I'll see it in a second when I go and pick up all the bits I need. Right now, to upgrade one of these bags, you need seven of these silk uh, woven silk, and each one of those requires nine silk widths. So you need a good stack of silk widths before you're going to actually be able to do this. And then when you do it, you'd better, you can now take it like this and you can see the uses of that. And then you can click the plus button and it'll put everything into space place for you. And you can then simply put the diamond in there and it should uh, simply make the thing. Oh, I need the bag, of course, that would be the last thing. And then it'll actually start to do it. Now, this is quite a slow recipe, I think, but it is progressing. Um, I'll see you in a few seconds when this is done. So any second, now we have our backpack. So this now will contain, will be able to hold 45 slots, which is almost a double chest. Not quite, it takes a little bit more than that. You can basically sc scroll things across like that and hold these items. So what we have end up with is a load of backpacks with different things in them. I could actually go through the bits and pieces, probably not so interesting. The adventuring backpack by default gets nothing. The forestry one gets this. Hunting one we've already discussed. Mining backpack, of course, that'll pick up all sorts of things. So I've been anything I've been mining, I've been got some coal and some wolframite, and uh, some apatite and redstone, and of course it'll pick up iron ores. And I'm not sure that it picks up clusters. I think it does because it's um, it's done by um, ore dictionary, I think. So let's have a look at this one. Here we get some sand and gravel and dirt in the uh, digging backpack, and of course uh, you get cobblestone. So when you're mining on that one, it's very useful. You get a lot of slots in that one too. Uh, builder's backpack. This is actually a strange one. You can carry all sorts of things. I even programmed it to allow me to put the builder's one in there. So that's another thing you can do. And it picks up all sorts of strange. And we've been through the apron's backpack as well. Now there is one thing 
that I haven't shown yet, and that is the um, inventory tweaks. I use inventory tweaks almost every episode. I make I make an episode about inventory tweaks. So in this particular one, let's have a look at this image. Now, with this image, what you can see is I've set up some uh, different settings. So this is the um, the text. Well, there's two text files at the top. So this is the one which allows you to select what goes into what slot. So at the top I've got default and then below that I've got traveling and at the bottom I've got mining and so the the positions show you how things get locked positioned and locked up so for example the row D is locked which means that items don't get moved in and out of D well that's not true they will do we'll see that in a second and then below that I've got mining so we can select all of these different ones so let's have a look at that next so what you do is you press uh, a number key so for example if I press one and then plus it changes the configuration oh, I think I might need to move this out of my hand as it happens we don't need that in fact I might as well put that into the engineers bag before I start doing anything else so if I plus one and plus oh, I've got well that's just what I've got programmed on my thing it doesn't do anything because that's the default and two will set it to traveling mode like that and then when I press the sort button again it sorts my inventory so let's have a look at my inventory now you saw it put the improvement um, grafter into here so it sorted all these things here which are forestry items and then at the top it's done tools so let's have a look at uh, how that's actually configured in the next screenshot now this is the rules file um, as you can see in here you've got I've set up a new section under tool called foresting and then I've added all of these different things into here like that so then the order becomes important that you put these in so you'll see I've done advent bag adventure and then adventurer woven and then forest ding and forest woven and then you basically give it the ID that you'll see in, in the in the configuration file so that's the whole of that and then below that I've got pickaxe and the first one I've caught there's my is a favorite pickaxe and that's Tinker's construct favorite pickaxe with the name display name favorite pickaxe and that'll always be the one that goes there first so let's have a look at that next. So the current source, as you can see, comes to the uh, this one first, which is a manulum pickaxe. Uh, and then I've got an Ardite pickaxe. And then I'm quite sure what the order of these, how these goes in. And then I've got a bronze pickaxe. Let's now go and take this bronze pickaxe and give it a name. Right, here we are. On, on an anvil, you can take your pickaxe like this one and you can give it a name. So we'll call it my favourite pickaxe. I'm not sure it'll work, we'll try it. Yes, it does. And that gives you an enchantment cost of one. So we take it out like that. And then we now have this pickaxe. So if I now put this here and then press the sort button, which I've programmed to plus, it becomes the first one like that. Before it was always being sorted here. Um, oh, by the way, I can drop this down as well and pick it up again. And that should also go into one of my bags, the adventuring bag, I guess. But you see it's disappeared. And it'll be in here. So the order of that was, of course, was the adventuring bag was actually the first one of these items. So it was the first item here was the adventuring bag. And then they got sorted according to the order that I put them into in the, in the text file. You have to restart the game for the forestry changes to apply, but you don't have to restart the game for the inventory tweaks uh, changes to apply. So i going to try and get out of here, which is sometimes difficult. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. I will be back in a, a short while, well, a long while, I suppose. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I'll be carrying on doing a little bit more um, immersive, and well, Danny's Zero Tech mod pack. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>